Well, the real estate sector has had 10 years of self, uh, to get it right on self-regulation, and they haven't. And so we are going to end the right of, of real estate sector to self-regulate. The advisory group today, uh, yesterday made 28 recommendations. We're going to be taking immediate action on all of them. And that includes that, uh, first of all, ending dual agency transactions as recommended by the, uh, by the advisory group. And that's a situation where one agent represents both sides in a transaction. Second, uh, dra dramatically increase the fines for those who break the rules to about a quarter of a million dollars for individuals and a half a million dollars as a maximum for brokerages. We're going to um, uh, take the advice that said we should allow the superintendent to take away commissions from those who break the rules. We are going to act on the recommendation that the public have easier access to be able to make complaints where they see shady practices. And um, last, uh, this, was not, um, this was not recommended necessarily by the committee, but it's something that the government will act on. Establish a dedicated superintendent of real estate, someone who will not be distracted by other duties, um, who will have the authority to do what is necessary to increase public confidence in the real estate sector. So we want to make sure that with these changes, we're able to put consumers first, and make sure that we are protecting the vast majority of agents who are doing a good job.